Okay, since the other ones seem to be a hit, get ready with me while I tell you about the time another makeup artist booked me to do the makeup for her wedding. Okay, so a few years ago, this bride reached out to me on Instagram and she asked me to do the makeup for her wedding, kind of gave me the lowdown of how many girls were going to need makeup and um, the timeline of the day, where the venue is and all that fun stuff, which is actually really nice. Most brides don't include all of that information. Um, so I kind of felt like she had her things together, which was really nice. And then she told me that she was also a makeup artist and that she really liked my work. So she wanted to book me and I was like, wow, I'm honored. So being the nosy girl that I am, I go to her business Instagram because I was like, I gotta see this girl's work. Like I gotta know, you know, I gotta bring my A game. And of course, her work is actually so good and take a shot every time I say actually, but her work is really good. And I was like, wow, I'm really gonna have to, you know, be on my P's and Q's. Like I need to make sure that everything I do is flawless because you know, she's a fellow makeup artist, like she gets it. So I booked the wedding and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, really up my game and make sure that everything is flawless when I do this wedding. Um, really nervous, but also very excited. She was really sweet. So I was like, it's gonna be good. Um, and yeah, I booked the wedding and we really didn't talk much until actual like week of the wedding. So she's very straight up with me, does not book a trial and basically says, I'm probably gonna end up doing my own makeup. Not quite sure yet, but that's kind of where I'm feeling. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like I'll be there if you need help with anything, but I, I totally understand. If I was getting married, I would want to do my own makeup too. Like I just don't think that I would like for anybody else to touch my face. I just would like to have the control over that. It would make me feel better. So wedding week rolls around and she is texting me like, I'm still not sure if I want you to do it or if I'm going to do it myself. So just come prepared to do mine just in case I want you to. And I'm like, okay, no big deal. Like thinking this girl is a little crazy. Like how come she doesn't, you know, know if she wants to do her makeup or if she wants me to do it, but whatever. So wedding day comes, I show up at the venue. I think that might be the nicest group of women I've ever walked into a room to meet. Like they were all so excited that I was there. And I was like, I don't know any of you guys, but I think we're all best friends. They were literally so nice. Like, I walked in, and they were just like, oh my god, you're here! And I was like, yes, I am! I'm so happy. They were so sweet. So I get started on the bridal party, and throughout the day, like, I'm doing, you know, bridesmaids. I think she ends up doing her sister's makeup. She does. And I did her mom, and, you know, we're just having a good time. But throughout the day, she stops by, like, while I'm in the middle of doing makeup to be like, yeah do you think you can do my makeup today? Like, do you, do you think you have time? And I'm like, yeah, girl, it's no big deal. I would love to. And then she'll stop by like 30 minutes later and be like, actually, I'm going to do it myself. And she just like went back and forth quite a few times trying to decide if she wanted to do it or if she wanted me to do it. And I was like, it's no big deal. Whatever you want. I'm here to help and support you. But, you know, just let me know when you decide. Eventually she walks over and she's like, Shelby, I think I'm just going to do it myself. And I'm like, that's totally fine, girlfriend. If that makes you feel better, I totally support it. Because I could tell she was anxious. And like I said, there's just some things that you want to have control over on your wedding day. And I think as a makeup artist, that's just one of the things that I would be like, mm, no, I got to do it myself. So she starts working on her own glam and it is looking so good. Like literally her makeup looked flawless and I knew she was going to kill it. And she asks me to help her stack some eyelashes like she had on one pair and she wanted to stack another pair on top and she just wanted to make sure that they looked good so I helped her do that and genuinely that was like as much as I helped do any of her makeup and she looked fantastic like it looked so pretty and I was like wow like good for you like I would be doing the same thing girl I know I don't have a track record for these story times being very positive but that bride was literally the sweetest bride of all time. And we took a selfie together that day. I don't typically take pictures with my brides. Like maybe the photographer grabs a picture, but not like posed. Like we stopped to take a photo together and we were like, we really need to hang out more and like do weddings together and stuff. Like I'm always looking for a second artist and you know, like our styles are very similar and I just felt like we would get along really well. So we started doing weddings together. Like we started traveling I mean, not exclusively, but like, you know, if I would need help with a wedding or whatever, she um, would come with me and we would travel, do wedding makeup together, and just have a good time. 
And while I typically don't name names in these videos, that Brad's name is Carly, and Carly is one of my absolute best friends in the entire world now. We have known each other for three years, but it feels like we've known each other a lifetime. Um, Carly is like one of the friends that I used to dream about. Like I, I longed for friendship like this as a little girl um, and even as an adult. And um, Carly is like literally one of the best friends that I could have ever asked for. And honestly, she's so selfless. She goes above and beyond for everybody else. She is a true angel. Like she is an amazing human being and I'm so grateful that I am friends with her and that I got the opportunity to meet her and work for her and help her put eyelashes on on her wedding day like I I am so grateful for that girl she is amazing and um she is actually who did my my microblading on my eyebrows it's not actually microblading but that's just the easiest way to describe it um yeah, and I would trust her with my life. So I have a little bit more of like mine and Carly's story that I'm gonna share now, but that is how we met. And I know that all these stories are um, not quite as wholesome. I was using the House Labs blush, by the way. Um, but this one is like, it makes my heart so happy. Like it was truly the most amazing day. She looked absolutely gorgeous. I'm so thankful that I was able to be there, but also just like having met her and her group of friends was just, like the icing on top. So around that time, Carly was finishing up nursing school, I believe, and I was finishing up um, my elementary education degree. And we both went to work in our respective fields um, soon after when we graduated. So this was like during COVID-ish, um, right around COVID, not like maybe right before. And then, so we both started working and I remember going to a wedding with Carly like we were going to work together I think we had about a two or three hour drive and the entire way there we talked about nothing other than how much we hated our jobs like we were miserable she was miserable in her nursing job I was miserable in my teaching job and we were like something has got to change like we are not happy one day I'm driving um, after the fact and Carly calls me and she's like I have a job interview at this um, place where they do permanent makeup in Augusta, Georgia. And I was like, girl, I love that for you. I'm so excited for you. I was like, well, permanent makeup? Is that, you know, is that where we're going? And she's like, yeah, I think it would be really fun. Something new to try. I love makeup. I love beauty. So something different. And I think I'll really enjoy it. And I was like, I fully support it. I'm so happy for you. And I love you. And around that time, I was deciding that I was going back to esthetician school. When school year ended, I was going to quit my job. And I was going to completely go back to school and become a makeup artist full time. Needless to say, Carly got the job about two years ago. And she's been killing it ever since. Like literally thriving. And I went back to school to get my aesthetics license. And it was the best thing that I ever did. And while Carly doesn't do many weddings anymore, um, I sometimes pull her out of semi-retirement to come help me and do weddings with me because she's very talented and I love her and I just love working with her. But she is an actual ray of sunshine. Like, I don't think I've ever had a bad experience with Carly or like Carly's never made me mad or like done anything hurtful. Like, she's literally always happy and just a big ball of bubbles. So anyway, if you're ever looking for somebody to do your permanent makeup on your lips or your brows, she's your girl. But I am so happy that I met her and that I know her and that I call her my friend. Hopefully this was a nice change of pace for my typical get ready with me story time videos where I'm either crying or like, you know, not getting paid for something. So <laughs> I love you guys and I appreciate you being here and I appreciate you watching. I love you guys so much. I really do. And I'm thankful for every single one of you. And Carly? I love you, girl. All right, besties. Bye. Have a good day.